you need a heart, you can take mine. Balingo, balingo, me and Floss with your stars to the lingo. Balingo, balingo, me and Floss with your stars to the lingo. Straga me and Boa Mostra, Straga me and Dengue Mata. Straga me and Boa Mostra, Straga me and Dengue Mata. Foi assim, foi assim, a forma que eu lhe segurei. Foi assim, foi assim. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Sunday. So on today's menu, which I'm really excited for, we're going to be cooking Jamaican style KFC fried chicken with vegetable rice and a side salad. So let's jump into the cooking process, guys. So we got our scotch bonnet pepper, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder. We've got some chicken seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of dried oregano we also have our sunflower oil and a cup of ice cold water and for the breading we have one bowl of flour flour <laughs> all purpose flour half a bowl of chicken fried mix and a little bowl of room temperature water which we'll be using for the dipping as not everyone likes to use egg when making their chicken for the vegetable rice we have pure basmatic rice and a bowl of mixed vegetables we also have a bowl of side salad so let's get the cooking process started okay so what's next so we'll be preparing the marinade for the chicken which is going to give it lots of flavor these are all the ingredients that i explained earlier so we're just going to be putting it into the mixing container which you're going to be used for blending and i'm just chucking in our cayenne pepper, our chili powder, these are all one tablespoon guys. We have our chicken mix, this is our onion powder, and these guys, these are teaspoon of black pepper, dried oregano, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. And the last but not least. And for that extra heat, <laughs> we're going to be adding a whole scotch bonnet pepper for all the chili lovers out there. This will be the making of the hot and spicy Jamaican KFC fried chicken. We'll Ooh. also be adding in one cup of cold ice water the reason why I'm using ice cold water is just to thicken the sauce so that it holds on to the chicken and marinate it properly. Okay, I'm just going to be putting on the lid now, guys. Okay, and now we're going to get on to blending. Look at all that color, guys. I'm blending it for around one minute. Okay, that should be done, guys. So See that good mixture, guys. Okay. Oh, if I can get the lid off. So here you go. Here you have it, guys. This is the blended mixture that we'll be using to marinate our chicken. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all over the chicken. Remember, guys, the chicken has been washed and cleaned properly. Okay. Ooh. That looks yummy already. If you can smell those flavor, guys, it just smells so good. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all in. And once I finish mixing it, I'm just going to leave it to sit for about two hours. Wow, that's looking lovely. I'm just making sure that all the sauce get into the chicken. It smells lovely as well. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to put the lid on. Two hours later. Okay, guys, so it's been about two hours since the chicken's been marinated. Just gonna pop the lid off and carry on with the breading process. So, to a clean container, we, I'll be adding one bowl of all purpose flour and half a bowl of the chicken fried mix okay so i'm just gonna 
mix it up a bit lightly and then we're just going to start the process of taking out our chicken and dropping it into the breaded mix okay so let's start with our first chicken just going to do them one by one guys I'm just going to use my hands for this side, this process as you have to actually get in there and toss the chicken to ensure that all area of the chicken is coated. Okay, so that's what it's meant to look like guys. Once it's finished, it's going to be placing it onto this plate over here. Excuse me. Then we're just going to get in there with another chicken and then we're just going to continue the process until all of our chicken has the first coating on there okay let's see what happens next then yeah wait and see okay guys so they should be looking like this i'm just going to finish off the process now okay so here's the end result guys of the first coating we're going to be doing something what we call double dredging which is double dipping back into the marinade and back into the flouring. Okay, so we're just going to start back the process all over again. So I'm just going to be dipping it in there, guys. It is a bit messy, but the result is going to be lovely. So we're just dipping it in and drop it right back into the mix. So let's just get in the season properly soaked in the chicken which will give it a good coating of that French fry KFC style look. Okay, so here's the end result of the first one, guys. Just gonna be placing it here. And I'm just gonna continue the process on the rest of the chicken until they're all done. Okay, I look forward. Okay, guys, so now that the double breading process is over, this is the end result of the chicken. We will now be frying it in a heated Dutch pot, Dutch pot. <laughs> with vegetable oil, just enough to cover each chicken. We're going to be frying it on a medium heat, just so that the inside of the chicken can be fried properly. We're going to be frying the chicken for around 20 minutes and frying the breast for around 15 minutes as the breast cooks quicker. Okay, so now I'm just going to start by placing the chicken carefully into the heated frying pan as you can see oh that's just and that's a leg swizzling away right there so that's two legs and then we have a wing look at that okay guys so for the first two minutes we won't be touching the chicken as we don't want the bread to apart from it we just wanted to get that nice seal so guys we're just taking the golden color quite nicely and we're just going to fry it for the 20 minutes i will be showing you the end result i look forward okay guys the chicken has been frying for the last 20 minutes so we're going to be taking out the first set and placing it into this cream bowl that we've lined with paper towel just to catch the excess oil okay That does look golden and brown, doesn't it? Very golden and brown. Okay, so that's the first set, guys. We're now going to be placing another set into the frying pan and just carry on the cooking process. Mm -hmm. so to a bowl of boiling water, we're going to be adding our washed bowl of rice. Okay. We're also going to be adding our mixed vegetable. And a tablespoon of butter. Just going to be stirring that in, guys. And we're going to leave the rice to cook on a medium to low heat for 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, there it 
Okay guys, so here's the end result. We have our Jamaican style hot and spicy KC chicken with a vegetable rice and a side salad. I've also made a large Mai Tai to wash it down. Bon appetit guys, enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to all my YouTube videos. Thank you.